Cal Davis game, uh, homecoming for us. You know, really proud of our guys that we had a good week of prep, and we knew it was going to be a 60-minute contest, and that's exactly what we got. You know, I have a lot of respect for Coach Hawkins and their program and team, and they're a hard team to prepare for. So our guys did a good job, the staff, the players, and it was one of those games where we got off to a really good start, and you know, then they scored, and we were able to answer those scores and go into halftime with a two-score lead, but we sure knew they were going to make a run, and that's exactly what happened. But to have the lead the entire game until 2.07 left, and then our guys to take the field and run an efficient two-minute drill, execute a special teams play to go ahead and give us an opportunity to win. I was really proud of our guys, and then we held them off for the win. So good win for us, and now we move on to Idaho State. Over, over the last few years, is there anything that's become a theme in terms of why Idaho State maybe has given you trouble from time to time? Well, you know, I'm just looking back to the most recent one was I think they had good players and a good plan. You know, they um, didn't panic when they got down a year ago. A um, little bit was, you know, a mistake on our part that gave them some momentum and we needed to respond better. But, you know, once again, our focus needs to be on our preparation this year with this team and going on the road and, you know, earning a positive result against a team that plays really hard. I think they're well coached and they play with a lot of pride. When you watch them, they play really hard. And I have a lot of respect for their staff and their team, the way they compete. Um, I think. You know, I saw a stat that you guys are 100% in the red zone this year. One of, I think, maybe eight teams in the country to be 100% in the red zone. Why, why has your offense uh, been successful down there? Well, I think um, we practice it. We're intentional about it. And you hope that you can execute it on game day. And we've done a pretty good job of that. I, I think our guys have made plays. We've tried to find some matchups that are favorable. I think our quarterbacks have thrown good balls down there and found those matchups. And for the most part, we've taken care of the football in the red zone. You know, we got a little break the other day with one of them that rolled into the end zone, and it's a good hustle play by Patrick. But for the most part, we've taken care of the ball and found the matchups, and it really helps you when you go down there and score touchdowns. You know, we haven't had to settle for field goals, and we've been able to get the ball in the end zone. That really helps us. Coach, how does the presence of Brock Boltman impact your offense and your play calling going forward? Like. Um, this week, are you experimenting with even newer ways to involve Boltman in the offense? Well, we think it's important to get his touches. You know, we think he's a really versatile player. He, he's athletic. He's good with the ball in his hands. You know, he can make people miss. And, and he's really competitive with the ball in his hands. I think he, he's exciting and fun to watch play, that's for sure. So getting him the ball and putting him in multiple positions, I really believe that is a headache for teams that are preparing for us. So that's what we try to do is give teams different looks with not only Brock, but a multiple formations, multiple different looks, and that helps your football team. But we're really excited about how Brock has accepted that role and embraced it. And that's why he's doing well. He's really embraced it and accepted that role. To your point on the preparation uh, going into the next week and the next opponent, to have an opportunity to try to put two wins together back to back. What is a characteristic that you feel is the key in order to try to attain that positive result? Well, it's really focus. It's focus and then the challenge for any competitor is getting to the right emotional level at kickoff and being able to maintain that throughout the period of the game because, you know, the mental work, the physical work, that is all done during the week. And then later in the week, you've got to find that right emotional level or anxiety level. And it's different for different positions. And we got to be at that point that we have great focus and be at the right emotional level and play really intense football for a long period of time because we expect another 60-minute game. Um. What do you think of your quarterback play, and did that kind of steady that position a little bit moving forward, uh, knowing that that Nate uh, put up 275 yards or whatever? Well? Yeah, I think it was really good. Good early, first play of the game. Those are not automatic throws, you know, those bubbles, and 
he was right on there and we got a positive play. He got rid of the ball, got it, moved it around to a number of different guys, made good decisions, and then a strong finish also. You know, never going to be perfect. We want our guys to play at a high level, but to play perfect is unrealistic. So a uh, really good two-minute drill, get us in position. You know, sure, you want a touchdown. But once we got down in there, you got to play it a little bit smart too. So uh, took care of the ball and got us in field goal position. Then we were able to go ahead with a kick. Is there any concern about a letdown this week when people talk about the stretch of games you guys had at the beginning of the year? They talk about you know, North Dakota State, Eastern Washington, UC Davis. The Idaho State game doesn't get included from, from an outside's perspective. Is that a concern? Well, we always have a concern about a letdown because you got to be able to handle an emotional win, which it was. there was a lot of emotion in that game, a lot of ups and downs and a lot of excitement. And, and you know, after the game, we're really excited. So we, like about everybody else, we've got a 24-hour rule. We better get over it and we better move on with our preparation. You know, saw good signs today at practice, early in the week, that we're able to handle it, but that needs to continue throughout the week because we need to respect this opponent. They're a very good football team.